We are here to celebrate an Orioles legend we all know and one we all love who is celebrating his 83rd birthday today. Fans, please welcome the man of the hour, number five, Brooks Robinson. Thanks, Brooks. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Brooksy. Yeah, it's, it's great seeing you. Happy birthday. Brooksy, happy birthday. Up, guys? Brooks, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Brooks. Happy birthday, Brooks. Hey, Brooksy. Happy hey. birthday. But there's only one number five. Uh, you know, Mr. Hoover, the human vacuum cleaner, you know, you're, you're the man. And I just want to say to all the folks out there how proud I am uh, to just uh, to, to be on here and just to say hi. And uh, I just wanted to come on on behalf of everybody in Maryland, um, every single one of us, to, to wish you a happy 83rd birthday. Uh, it was an honor and it was a privilege to walk on the same field with you. And I want to wish you from the bottom of my heart Happy birthday. Happy birthday. A lot of, a lot of talent on this uh, phone call so far. I'm sorry to bring down the, the talent level a little bit. It's fun listening to you guys talk. Hey, how's it going? Happy birthday, Mr. Robinson. It's an honor to uh, you know sit in here and listen just for the last little bit. And uh, I see you got quite a crowd here wishing you a happy birthday. And I'm, uh, I'm happy to be one of them. You know, I talked to Reggie. Who, Reggie turned 74 today. So he said he's trying to call you. Yeah, well, anyway, he figures that, you know, you're so much older than him that at least he needs to reach out to you because you might have forgotten his number. <laughs> <laughs> they had the 70 World Series, which you were magnificent. I helped you out a couple of times, though. You know, well, Eddie came to the Orioles in 1977, my last year, and I taught him everything I knew, and you see he had 500 home runs. Oh, that wrecked well, then he knew he couldn't keep up if he saw me my first year, so he thought he better retire. I can't keep up with this kid. <laughs> uh, how you doing? And happy birthday, man. Yeah, look at the head on that guy. Is that Cal Ripken? But uh, thank you very much for calling in. It's very appreciative. I have a little uh, something to say to you, though. Happy birthday, Mr. Robinson. Happy birthday, Mr. Robinson. And yet, somehow, you were capable of being a legend in, uh, in your own right and making everybody else feel like they were the legend when they were in your presence. And uh, it's something that we try to teach our children, especially my kids. I want to teach them humility and graciousness and kindness. Uh, and you modeled that better than any superstar I had ever been around. It was a, uh, a sports writer used to tell uh, a story. He said, you know, people didn't name candy bars after Brooks Robinson. People in Baltimore, they name their kids after Brooks Robinson. Uh, that, that's a whole lot better when they name their kids after you than a candy bar. So, and I know through the years you've had a chance to meet uh, and, and engage with so many of those kids and those grandkids that carry on your name, that, that special Brooks name. And today we have a little surprise for you. Uh, we are going to uh, join, bring some very special young guests, guests in to join us. I'm very humble when I find out someone has my name because that, uh, that tells me a lot. And for kids to come up and say, hey, my name is Brooks. And uh, I see him 30 years later and say, you know, and I was named after you and I'm, tw I'm 30 years old almost. And I think that's terrific. I look, I look forward to it. Anyway, I'm, I'm honored every time I hear someone named Brooks.